Let's put the scientific method to the test. Back in the old days, people thought life came out of nowhere. They don't have refrigerators back then, so they store their foods in boxes and bags. They notice meats that are left out long will eventually have flies coming out of the meat. They don't know how or why, but that it just happened. They call this life out of nowhere, spontaneous generation. Don't worry about the vocabulary of the experiment. The focus here is on the application of the scientific method. And then came a scientist named Reddy. Does that name ring a bell? He sets up an experiment to prove that the flies did not just came out of nowhere. First observation, he noticed that the jars left open will have flies coming out of the meat over time. But the jars that were covered had no flies at all. So he hypothesized that flies gave birth to their babies inside the meats and eventually those would hatch and flew out. Then it was time to experiment. One set of jars he left open. This is called the control group. This term is very important and you must know it for all tests. The second group is called the experimental group, the group that would be tested upon. Here's the important information. The difference between the control group and the experimental group is just one thing. Everything else must be kept constant. The meats must be the same. The jars must be the same. The temperature must be the same. We are testing for one thing. Does covering the jar prevents the flies from sprouting? Now, what if we had two different things? For example, we had the experimental group had covered lid and it was set in different temperature like someplace cold. Correct, and that's exactly what the control group is all about. It keeps everything constant and the experimental group would test for one thing that is different. If we wanted to test for temperature, we could have the control group and a different experimental group in which we live in a cold place, but everything else is constant. Even the jars have to remain open. This way, if the flies did or did not came out, then we would know cold temperature has an effect on the meat or not. Because the concept of control group is very important. And easy, but student missed it so often. I have to highlight this concept. What student miss often is when it comes to labeling their experiment, they don't know the difference. So Reddy tested his experiment and it proved true. His conclusion is that if you cover your food, it will prevent flies. Over time, this experiment and other experiments abolish the idea of spontaneous generation. A new concept sprouted about life, that life comes from life. This is one of the three cell theory that you will learn later on. One more thing before we end this section, what happens if you forget the steps of the scientific method? Yes, you freak out. Oh heck, I forgot the scientific method. And then you remember. Well you see, when you freak out, you think, oh heck. Oh heck, I forgot what it is. <laughs>